everyone, so I'm going to do a year-end reflections video. I have not done one of these, but I also haven't filmed like anything this year. I filmed a few videos here and there, and I just kind of want to update you guys on my year because it has been absolutely insane for me. I even wrote notes. You guys follow me on Twitter, you saw this picture last night, but okay, so let me just jump right into this because it's going to be kind of a little bit of a video. Um, let me start back in October of 2012. I was still at school. I was going to Heritage College, which you guys knew um, from the random vlogs that I posted. And I was on. I ended up going to a new class full of people that I hadn't had a class with ever. They was because what you do, you just move from class to class with the same people every time. And I, all my people moved on went to their externships, and I didn't yet. So I. Went to a different class, and that's how I met Zach. And I remember sitting there in that class and, you know, looking at him and seeing him and thinking he was just awesome and, you know, thinking there was no way I was ever going to be able to date him because I wasn't his type. And, yeah, well, let's fast forward to the end of December of 2012. He went to North Carolina. We were hanging out between October and December. I was actually helping him pack his stuff to go to North Carolina last year, and um, he went for two weeks for Christmas and New Year's to North Carolina, and then like the 8th, I think, he came back. I can actually look. When did he come back? Do, do, do. August? No. January? Maybe. Maybe. No? Did I not? Well, he came back. I believe we started school again on the 7th of January, so it would have been, he came back Friday the, Thursday or, Thursday the 3rd or Friday the 4th of January, and he actually asked me to pick him up from the Greyhound station at midnight, so, because he took the bus, and so I went to go pick him up, and then I dropped him off, we hung out for like an hour after I got him home, and it was like 3 in the morning, and I was like, no, I'm going home, and going to bed. Because at that point I didn't know if he liked me or not because we'd been texting back and forth the whole time while he was there, but I didn't know. So then he's like, okay, well I want to hang out tomorrow. So I came over at like 10 o'clock in the morning, you know, let him sleep and everything. And then we ran a bunch of errands, you know, he went to go get a haircut and we did some shopping, I think, maybe not. We spent like five hours at the DMV because, DMV, yeah because he had lost his ID while he was on the bus and traveling back, so we had to give him a new one of those, and it took forever. And then he was like, oh, we should go get some food after this, because it was like already five o'clock at night, because we had spent too much time waiting there. And so then we went to Idaho Springs to go to Bojo's Pizza, because that one's the original one. And while we were at the, um, DMV, he was sitting there, and we were talking outside, and then he, like, because I had a crossbody purse on, he grabbed my purse and pulled me closer to him, and I was like, oh, okay. And then, while we were in there, he ended up holding my hand, and I was like, oh my god, he actually likes me. And so we were driving up there, and he said it was a date, and he told me a lot of things while we were there about how, you know, I'm, he's breaking all his rules and stuff for me, and it was really, really exciting. And so that's how I was with Zach. So now that you guys know how we met and how we started dating, that was in January of this year, 2013. So I had kept just hanging out with him and hanging out with him, and then in February or March, I believe, I guess I have to just look again, don't I? February? Well, is it February? February? March? February or March? I went skiing. It doesn't really matter. February or March, I went skiing with Zach for the first time. And I actually wore skis. And I ended up getting hurt because I fell. My ski stuck into the snow. My body twisted. My ski didn't detach. And I popped my knee. So the reason I get a whole filming day today is because Zach and one of our friends are out skiing. We're in snowboarding right now. And I can't. Until I get my knee checked out. And I can't do that until I get insurance. Which won't happen until January of next year. So. Hey. But it's good because I get a video day. But anyway. That was really, really painful. It was really fun skiing. And it sucked because it was like 45 minutes in. And I had just got the hang of it. And I fell and hurt myself. And that just ruined. Like it ended my whole day. And it kind of sucked. 
and they did an x-ray. I ended up having an x-ray later, but you can't really see anything. I do need an MRI for that, so you can see the soft tissue around it and everything. But, yeah, so that happened, and then we're going to fast forward to July. I got done with school, started my in- no. I was having issues finding internships. I did start my internship in July, but before that I was supposed to. I was having issues finding one because all the other ones were already had other interns from different schools and stuff, and just finding an internship really wasn't working out for me. And then I finally found one, which is- was absolutely great. I worked there, and it was- everything that I imagined a doctor's office and where I wanted to work to be and so that was really cool but before that I ended up moving in with Zach um that was just kind of something that just happened he'd asked me like a month or two prior if I wanted to move in with him after they got because they only we only have two bedrooms so if they moved to a bigger house or got a third bedroom I was supposed to move in and then some things happened and I ended up moving in sooner, which was really, really cool, so I have to live with Zach now. And so then I was doing my internship, and um, the girl that was training me, some things happened and were happening, and I was about two weeks away from being out with my internship because I had to have 320 hours, and it was my birthday. So my birthday is September 16th, so now we're in September of 2013. Okay, so my birthday is the 16th. I, my grandpa wasn't doing well. He hadn't been doing well since, like, July. He got diagnosed with cancer. And, um, I hadn't seen him in a while because of my internship in school and I hadn't been able to go out there. And, uh, I hadn't seen him in a year. So, I took the opportunity, since I was still on my internship, to that I could actually take some time off. I went to Nebraska on September 19th to see him. Let me find my calendar so I can show you guys exact dates here. September 19th I went to Nebraska. And then I was there from the, that was a Thursday. I was supposed to come back. I was supposed to only be there for a week. So I left the 19th and I was supposed to come back either Friday the 27th or Sunday the 29th and then be back at school slash work on September 30th. Well, I got out there and he was still, he wasn't doing great, but he was still up walking around talking, sitting at the table eating with us, blah, 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 blah. And in that whole week, he just went downhill. And so we were trying to figure out, because my was like, me, my mom, my aunt, who lives in Colorado, all of us live in Colorado. And we were trying to figure out, me and my uncle and my aunt were trying to figure out how to get, because they're, my aunt and my uncle were out there trying to help them get rid of stuff, go through stuff, bring stuff back here, sell stuff, whatever. And, um, that Sunday morning we were trying to figure out how we were going to get back because my aunt had to be at work because she was starting a new job and I had to be back at my internship so I didn't get in trouble and so I could finish my hours and everything. And that Sunday, let's see. Thursday, I think it was, we got him on hospice just so we could have some, you know, in-house care and some, you know, medication to help him, you know, ease his pain. And then he fell, and after somebody who already has a lot of issues, um, falls, it can kind of progress things, and he ended up with a concussion, and that Sunday morning while we were trying to figure out, you know... My mom came and woke me up, and it's like, oh, we figure out how we're getting home, and she's like, ah, uh, yeah, no, you need to come downstairs, he's unresponsive. And that morning, September 29th, he passed away, and it was incredibly hard, and it still is incredibly hard. I mean, I know it's been, like, two months as of, oh my god, so two months as of, three months as of today, exactly, actually, because today's the 29th, so woo! Um, he was 79. His birthday was December 14th. He would have been 14. Yeah, he would have been 80. And I miss him with every fiber of my being. I love that man more than anything. And Gail, if you're watching this one, that's why these photo albums are great because one of them is going to be full of him. That's all I've been doing when I've put pictures in there is find all the pictures of him and put them in there. Um, he was such an inspiration 
to me. He was such an amazing man. He was. You know, I wanted him to walk me down the aisle at my wedding and all that stuff. Um, and then I feel like he would have loved Zach and I wanted him to meet Zach so very, very badly. And since that didn't happen while I was out there, I was telling him about him and he told me that he was really happy that I was so happy. And he thinks that Zach sounds like an amazing guy. And so that made me really happy having his blessing at least. But that was a really, really hard time. And then <clears throat> I came, so I had to stay another week. So he it was the 29th, so Sunday. I was supposed to come back that Sunday, and then we were just his memorial was gonna be the following Friday, which was the fourth. So I wasn't gonna come back to school, and then my school was threatening to like kick me out because I hadn't been there. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna be there Monday. I called my job or my internship to tell them, and they're like, oh well, that's fine. And my intern or my internship coordinator was like, oh, well, are they planning on hiring you? And I was like, I don't know. So I actually had my office manager call them at the school and tell them, you know, that she was okay with having me, you know, come back and miss two weeks and stuff, and she told me that, you know, she was planning on, you know, maybe hiring me, because at the beginning of my internship, she told me that she thought I had a future at that office, which, you know, was a really exciting thing, and made me really happy. Hi! Zigzag wants to say hello again. Hello, Zigzag! Anyway, so, we stayed, I stayed that whole week, and in that whole week I was in Nebraska, I watched every episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians because me and my um, cousin, my older cousin, she's like, she was in California, we were talking about it and she didn't know how she was in Famous and I was like, okay, how did we get here? How did we get to Northwest and Kim Ye and all of this? So I watched all of that and it was just kind of, it was just not good at all. I think I lost some brain cells from that. But I was planning on filling tags and stuff and then that Sunday the 6th, I came back. 7th was Monday. I showed up at work. I was exhausted because I had got home at like 9 o'clock that night. I hadn't seen my boyfriend in two weeks and it was insane. And um, I got back and I walked in and the girl who was training me was no longer there. And I still had two weeks left of my internship so I kind of was just mentally exhausted. So the next two weeks of October, like I don't feel like it should be the end of December. I don't feel like it should be the new year. I I'm still stuck in October because of all of everything that happened and I had to try to figure out how to get everything done. I had to figure out how to learn everything. My office manager and my receptionist had to kind of try to teach me and we were all teaching ourselves how to do different things because you know the other girl didn't teach anybody because it was job security but look how well that worked out. And let's just say I was kind of in the right place at the right time. I did get hired onto my internship and that was so incredibly exciting because now that's where I'm working because I love this office. I love being my medical assistant. Um, I am done with school. I was done in October, I believe. Um, and this kind of works out because the patients like me because I'm a medical assistant. Like I said, the patients like me because they have seen me since July 16th when I started my internship. So they've seen me throughout my whole internship and then now I'm there. So they know me, they trust me, they like me. We get along, it's great. My graduation is January 31st, which is really exciting because Zach's mom, we're actually, me and Zach are actually graduating at the same time with a bunch of our friends, like the friend he's out snowboarding with right now. So it's going to be kind of like a little mini reunion for us since a lot of us haven't seen each other since then, since last, you know, we all went to our internships. And um, I'm really excited to graduate because I have been in this school for two and a half years and you guys know all the videos I've posted, little random vlogs and stuff, and how much of a process this has been for me, you know, with not going, and, you know, I've gotten so much clo closure on things this year, and Zach has helped me grow so much, I, have, I owe a lot of who I am now to him, because he allows me to do my videos, he allows me to, he likes the fact that I do them, he supports me in them, he supports me in almost every decision that I want to make. He's really just an amazing person. He's like, kind of guides me in the right path, but allows me to be my own person at the same time and make my own decisions. And it's just a really, really great thing for me. It's something I really needed in my life. And he's taught me a lot, and he's I've actually gotten more active. And, I mean, I've started eating healthier, and he's an amazing cook. Um, I just... 
this video isn't about him really, but my whole year he has been a lot of things. So this is a 2013 reflection and he is a huge, huge thing that happened in my 2013 to me. And I just really hope this goes somewhere we're talking about. Um, let's see, what else? So I am taking today to pre-film a lot of videos, which I'm trying to close so it doesn't look like I'm pre-filming a lot of videos, but I'm just telling you I am because um, <clears throat> I don't exactly have a bunch of time, you know, to edit videos and sit down and do a bunch of videos. So I'm doing them today and I'm going to make some new, oh, where did I put my first? Some new business cards. Let me show you. If you guys find one, I want you to Instagram me or tweet me or Facebook me and tell me where you found them. But for right now, this is what they look like. Some of them are glittery. And then the back has my three links to my YouTube, Twitter, and my Instagram. It has not Facebook on it. And it has my email, so you can even email me. But I plan on making some new ones because my Lone Rooney Vlogs channel is right now some vlogs. And then when we do off-roading and camping and stuff, I put that on there. But I'm thinking about maybe making a separate channel for that stuff. But I'm not entirely sure yet. And if I do, I'm going to make two different business cards. One for the beauty, beauty side and one for that side. But I'm not sure. But be sure... Definitely, definitely be sure to follow me on Twitter, which is Marceroni Makeup, on Instagram, which is right now Lone and Roni, but I'm thinking about changing it to Marceroni Makeup, that way everything's the same. And then my Marceroni Makeup and Lone and Roni Vlogs YouTube channels. Um, my Instagram, I post a lot of pictures on Twitter, I get on Facebook, is also Marceroni Makeup, and I get on there quite a bit, and then you can see some things on there like some family things, but yeah. Something else that's exciting that's gonna happen in the new year is me and Zach are getting our new room. Um, they're adding on our third bedroom, which is really exciting because then our roommate doesn't have to sleep on the couch every night. And um, he gets our room and we get the new one and it's gonna be really, really great and I'm excited and I might get zigzag girlfriend at some point, yay. I'm gonna get him another Cheweenie. Might not, might not happen this year, but, well not 2013, but 2014, but I do plan on getting him a little girlfriend. Maybe she's gonna look like you. Say hi, Zigzag. Hi, Zigzag. You're on YouTube right now, Zigzag. Anywho. But, um, yeah. That's kind of this year in a nutshell, and there's a lot of little minor things that have happened, and... It's just, it's been an insane year, and like I said, Zach has helped me through a ton of it because of the fact that, you know, my grandpa passing away, he's been very supportive over that, and he's just, he is my rock, and I can't even begin to tell you guys how much he means to me and how thankful, tale, how thankful I am to have him in my life and how much I love him. Um, I'm also thankful for Melissa and Sam girls. I'm so sorry. We are going to hang out within, like, the next three weeks, I promise. Oh! I got pulled over for the first time this year, too, for crossing a double yellow line. Which I'm not happy about. Now I have a $190 ticket to pay. But it's whatever, because I'm not worried about it. But within the next three weeks, Sam and Melissa, I promise you we're going to hang out, because you two are my girlfriends, and I need girlfriends, and clearly with three guys. Help. But yeah. So that was kind of my year-end reflections. Um... And my update on you guys, and I wrote all these notes down, so I'd remember to tell you everything and the order everything went in, and I got my new planner, because, like I said earlier, um, that was actually one of my self buys for Christmas, was my new planner. This one's bigger than this one. And I know I could use my phone and everything, but my planners just keep me so very organized, and this is what this one looks like on the inside, and I just can't live without this. It helps me plan videos and everything. And then I'll give you a little insight on this notebook. Um, I've got different video ideas in here. And then you go back here, I've got the club life. Yo, it's different clubs around Denver that what they do on like Fridays and Saturdays so we can just know to go. Got a recipe in there. What we had for Thanksgiving 2013. Um, what breweries we've been to and had their IPAs, because we're big on IPAs. What breweries we want to go to, bottles and canes we've had that we love. What we had for Christmas. Different off-roading things, but this notebook I take with me absolutely everywhere. Because it does kind of 
to find that. But yeah, so I hope you guys liked my year end reflections video. It doesn't really matter if you didn't. I just kind of wanted to update you guys. And so, I, like I said, I am pre filming a bunch of videos today, but I do plan on filming continuously so that I can have a bunch of video videos and be. And I'm very excited for this upcoming year because I do have a lot of big plans. And yeah. So now that I've got my career in full swing and everything, it's just exciting. So I love you all, and I hope you guys go follow me on all my stuff. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great, and I hope you guys have had a great 2013. I hope your 2014 is even better, and I hope to see you guys around. Bye.